Hi, I'm Andrew Baum, and today I'm here with Anal Eben. We're research students at Hope College, and part of my part of my research project on periodic transmission lines require photolithography to cut out this pattern that you can see. And today I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, to to start, we have some copper clad circuit board. This is RO. 3003 from Rogers Corp. We also have uh, photoresist, developer, and etchant, all from Injectorol. Uh, uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to start out and cut a piece of. I just like to use the scissors. Next, next we uh, clean it off with soapy water and scrub it. Next up, photoresist. Now before we start, the photoresist is sensitive to regular light, so we're going to turn on some yellow bug lights. and turn off our overhead lights. Over here we have the photoresist. Obviously it's light sensitive, which is why we are only using bug lights right now. It also has some pretty strong fumes, so we're doing this procedure in the under a vent. We're turning on the vent now. Mm -hmm. And you want to just try and make an even coat across your strip line. This step is pretty much like putting on nail polish. speed up the drying process. We put this in an oven at um, 50 degrees Celsius for about 15 minutes. Now our 15 minutes is up so we can pull our sample out of the oven. Sometimes if uh, there's a little space that develops uh, you have to do a second coat but this looks really good. Uh, we're going to take it over here uh, to our full spectrum sun lamp. And I'm going to place this, uh, this uh, mask over it that I made with a computer drafting program and then print it out on uh, overhead slides. And then I needed four of them because of uh, the slides weren't uh, dark enough. So I'm just going to place that over our sample. And then set these lead blocks on our glass plate, which just helps keep it down and turn on our light. Okay, our 10 minutes is up, so we're going to turn off the full spectrum light, which was exposing our strip line, strip line to violet light, which is the wavelength that the photoresist is sensitive to. And we're going to put it in the developer. This developer is uh, essentially a solution of sodium hydroxide, dissolved just a little bit in water, diluted. And this will take probably about two minutes. Alright, now we're going to move the strip line and rinse it off in water. And pat it dry. Uh, 
Okay, next up we're going to put it in the etchant, and the etchant will remove any copper that's not still exposed. And if you can see closely, the photo resist that wasn't broken down uh, creates a protective bar barrier. On the back side, however, it uh, doesn't have any photo resist on, so what we're going to do is we're going to apply some uh, tape. And for my etchant, I'm using sodium persulfate, and I mixed it according to the directions. Now I'm going to, uh, and I also heated it up to about 110 degrees. If it's too cold, it takes a long time. I'm being careful not to pull the tape back when I put on these little clamps. Also, to help the process, I'm going to turn on a little bit of air. You don't need a lot. And put in a little air too. This helps circulate the air. Now this is going to take probably 20 or 30 minutes, so we'll check back to see how the process is going. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes now, so let's check our progress. One thing I want to mention is I wasn't having any, I didn't have any airflow, so I rerouted the hose and found I wasn't connected. Uh, I also wanted to point out that you only need a little, little air. You don't need a whole lot. That that amount of air circulates the fluid. So let's take a look at how 10 minutes has gone. Uh, the copper looks like it is quite a bit thinner. It hasn't. It hasn't been completely removed in any spot, so it needs some more time. So let's put it back in and uh, check it in another 10 minutes. Okay, now it's been about 20 minutes since we started our photo etching. We're going to take another quick look, see how it's coming. Um, we see some of the copper is being eaten away. Uh, not all of it's removed but a good portion of it is. So we're going to put it back in and let it soak for another, another 10 minutes and check it again. Now that it's been about 30 minutes, let's take a quick look. Most of the copper has been, uh, most of the copper from the circuit board has been etched. There's only a few little remaining pieces. As you can see our strip lines uh, showing quite well. Let's put it in just for a little bit longer, maybe another 10 minutes. Now it's been about 40 minutes, let's check it one more time. Looks good. All right, our, our process is just about complete. Let's turn on the overhead lights. Okay. Rinse this off, just in plain water. With a little acetone now to get rid of any leftover photoresist. Get in water to get the acetone off. That looks good. There is our copper strip line. So that's how you make a uh, copper strip line, a uh, transmission line, um, using the photo, using photolithography. Thank you for watching. Bye.